Hey guys, uh, it's Kathy. I'm here with my friend and neighbor, Josh Klaus, who um, is a musician in I the am. neighborhood. Yeah, so I'm excited to spend some time with you today. Thank you for meeting with Welcome me. Welcome to my home. Yes. Designed yes. by me Wonderful. and many other people. You're right. <laughs> um, so let's talk about um, your musicianship. So how'd you first get into music? Um, man, I've been singing ever since I can remember, but I remember being a... 14 year old boy just a little shorter than I am already I'm very short and I was competing against all the athletic guys who are who are getting all the girls um, and my dad said um, girls love a guy who can sing they love a guy who can play guitar if you can do both you got it made and that was all the motivation I needed as a 14 year old kid um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then from then I, um, my parents wanted me to get a summer job and I did not want to flip burgers or anything. So I no. convinced them to take my guitar out to, uh, the local Starbucks in San Antonio, Texas, where I'm from and just open up my case, no microphone, just play unplugged and just play for tips. And if I made enough money, then I would appease them. Um, and I did. So, and that's kind of let me think that music could be used to make a little bit of uh, side money. Uh, which is what it did when I was a kid. Right. And your background, though, you you were a teacher. Yeah. So I, my my dad was a physician, and so I thought I'd do that route. So I majored in the sciences. Yeah. Um, and science. science. It's the best for anybody out there who wants to get their kids, or you personally want to do it. Go into the sciences. It'll blow your mind. It blew science my mind. rocks, man. Um, yeah. So I was a, I was a teacher for six years because I just love teaching and I love learning about uh, the sciences. I didn't have the best science education growing up in the schools that I went to. Um, I didn't hear about evolution until I was 20, which is insane. Wow. I don't know why I'm saying that, but it's like, <laughs> it, it was just, it blew my mind. I was like, this explains so much. And so, uh, I just fell in love with the discipline. Um, so I love teaching, um, but teaching, you can teach for a really long time and mm -hmm. music has a very shorter shelf life or a shorter half life as we say in the sciences yeah and um so that's something i'm doing now very cool and um so when you moved to austin how did you get your start playing music mm -hmm. um that's a good question so i moved to austin actually for a teaching gig mm -hmm. um so i was relatively new to the city because i had gone here for school but i moved away for a research job and so I did the thing that single guys do or single people do. Um, you just try different clubs. Like mm -hmm. you play in a real softball or you do this and that. And then um, I started doing this open mic. And the open mic, I just had so much fun playing music and hanging out with all the musicians there. And so I was like, okay, this is the place. This is where I feel like I'm at home. So I would just play music more and more and more and more um, until it just became a huge part of my identity. Mm -hmm. um, and then it got to the point where this past couple months ago where financially it made sense to do it uh, full time, uh, which is such a blessing. That's such a dream. Oh, it's amazing. You know, yeah. 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 So now I have no one to hang out with in the evening and no one to hang out with during the day because I work in the evening. Mm -hmm. and, except for you. So I'm around. You're my only friend. Aww. That you come around at 12 o'clock. Right, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so it's musicians and realtors. That's we right. hang out all the time. People who work at home uh, during the day. So, <laughs> uh, so um, what are some of your favorite venues to play around town? And what about here in the neighborhood? Oh, yeah. Um, so, actually, I got to play in, um, in Miller for one of their block parties. Um, they also have great um, concerts that they put on almost every week. Um, mm -hmm. KUTX does a series here that they put on in the amphitheater down, right. down by the lake. And it's actually really good music. It is. Um, BD Riley's does live music on Saturdays. It's quite nice. Um, the venues I play at, I play up at the Domain, a place called Culinary Dropout. It's mm -hmm. an awesome brunch place on Sunday that I Food's play. Good. Yeah, Lazarus Brewing Company mm -hmm. on the east side, which is fantastic. Um, even Lambert's Barbecue downtown, they do good live music. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, that the cool thing about Austin is you can throw a rock somewhere and they've got someone playing music. Yeah. Um, so it, it, a lot of times restaurants are just open to the idea. Like I've called restaurants up or hotels and be like, hey, do you need a musician? They're like, yeah, why not? Sure. And they'll just do it because they realize it's kind of a culture of the city. Yeah. Yeah. Live music capital of the world. That's what they say. Yeah. Yeah. So have you felt really welcome here in the neighborhood? Yes. Um, the cool thing about this neighborhood is like, um, is that it's very, very, what's, what's the word? I don't want to say friendly, but people are very passionate. Mm -hmm. People are very passionate about where they live. 
um, and they always want to make it better. And so you're always surrounded by people, this young lady included, who always want to make sure like, you know what's good, but can it be better? And people are always talking with each other to make sure we're doing the right things. We're always reaching out to other parts of the community to make sure uh, that everyone else feels welcome. And we try to recognize not just um, how lucky we have it in this neighborhood, but also our privilege in this neighborhood uh, mm -hmm. to make sure that we can accommodate uh, not just the people who can sometimes afford to be here, but everyone to be here. And I'm one of those people who are in a house that's luckily, it's an affordable home. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm very lucky to just be neighbors next to Kathy so we can both share those mm -hmm. amenities. So it's really nice. Yeah, and you meet the best people. It's so true. Gosh, we have such great neighbors. Yeah, yeah. it's like everyone is so excited about and really good at what they do. Yeah. I've never met an apathetic person in this neighborhood. I don't think you can be by definition. So you're always gonna meet someone that is really either innovative or passionate or is involved in some type of extracurricular. Um, so you'll always be able to be plugged into something here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, and this is Rex. He's 19 <laughs> years old and he loves it here. Mueller's dog, sorry, Miller's dog friendly. All right. <laughs> All right, so tell me about your band, Fierce Kelly. Yeah, Fierce Kelly is a is a five piece band uh, with myself, my sister in law, uh, my brother, my brother in law, and a guy named Graham. But he's kind of <laughs> he's kind of family now, so it feels like a family band. Um, bit of a soul pop band. We play a lot of weddings and upbeat music and. Um, it was a project I was really scared to do because I'm a very much of a control freak. Mm -hmm. I, I have a very hard time, like, especially with my music, trusting people. Um, but this has been such a great experience, and we have so much fun playing. And uh, a lot of the venues that we play at, we just get to have so much fun. Yeah. I think it's a really fun time. Yeah, you guys make some really fun music. Thank you. It's great to listen to. Yeah, yeah. You can hear it all through. If you live in our part of the neighborhood, then you can hear us <laughs> practicing on Tuesday nights. That's right. But we've been writing a lot recently, so I think our neighbors have been ha happy that, you know, by nine, uh, even by eight o'clock, that there's no music blasting through the garage. So. Right. Well, and they're probably well, excited, too, for the new rotation, new songs in the rotation. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's right. Everyone's waiting. <laughs> right. We're ready, waiting for the Pins new stuff. Pins and needles, Kathy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you want to play a little bit for us? We'd love to. Rex. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Rex. we got to put you down. You're done. So this is actually the first guitar I ever bought. I bought it for $150 in San Antonio, Texas. Um, and I'm just gonna play a song that I wrote. Um, it's actually about a friend of mine. Um, he drove out to Marfa to propose to his now wife, but he was, uh, before he met her, he was very unsure of himself and she made him feel sure of himself. So and I'll just play the first verse in the chorus. Here we go. Cause there's a world that makes me feel cold and dry In a oasis is no place to live your life And I'm running out of space I'm running out of time I know I got more for my mind I know I got more for my mind Heading out west, the girl I knew back home. She takes you by the hand, I don't feel so alone. I drive all night, and I feel just in the eyes. And oh, I got more for my mind. And oh, I got more for Well, thank you. Fabulous. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Yeah. It's my pleasure. No, um, if, you like, if you like live music, always go out and see it. It's the best way. There's such a large economy of live musicians here in town. I know a lot of people are used to going out to the Frank Irwin Center or Austin 360. 
you pay 50 to 100 bucks to see a show, but you could just as easily see some amazing musicians here in town for five bucks, even for free. So the be one of the best ways to support people like me uh, that really add a lot of lifeblood to the city is just to go see live music. Um, it makes us feel good, and I promise you'll have a good time. And if you don't have a good time, you have a great story to tell later on in your mm -hmm. life. So, True. Yeah. Well, Josh, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah. And um, like Josh said, we'll make sure to post some times when he's available and out touring around and some following information. So we'll see you soon. Yeah, bye guys. Bye friends.